Now for heat number one, Jeremy McGrath, Mike LaRocco, Ezra Lust, Damon Bradshaw, Brian Swink, and Ryan Hughes. Good to see him back on the track. Great to see him back. He had the chicken pox and some injuries, and uh, I had the chicken pox when I was 24, and it's no fun, but he took the time to put in a pool, so he hasn't been roughing it too much. Oh, there's number one, clapping his hands as usual. Jeremy McGrath getting the last second instructions from his mechanic, Wyatt Seals, who incidentally had quite a rough time getting that bike back together earlier today. Yeah, quite a storm over at the Suzuki pits. Here we go, set to go. And look at the bunch toward there. It's Ezra Lusk, number 11. On the outside, Swink, number 13. What a great start for Lusk, who came from the outside, angled in. He got on the brakes so hard, the rear wheel actually left the ground. And Ryan Hughes, a great start for his return. Ezra Lusk won here at 94 on the 125s. It started a great string of victories. Ezra goes down in his battle with Ryan Hughes. Jeremy McGrath now takes the lead as Ezra picks himself up off the dirt. As Ezra picked himself up, he got clobbered by a couple of guys. Look, you see something hanging from his handlebar. Watch Ryan Hughes right here. He goes to the inside, tries to make a clean pass. They get together, and he runs right into Lusk, and that wasn't the end of it. McGrath takes the lead, and Lusk got hit again by the traffic. The battle in the whoops is between Larocco for fourth and Ryan Hughes. Ryan Hughes bobbling a little bit, coming over the crown there. Right behind him is Brian Swank, and then there's Larocco, number five. Swink one here at 93 and 92 out of 125. As we take a look at Mike LaRocco, who's had some good times on this track. He's never finished worse than six in the main event. He's done a great job. Swink's been really turning it up lately, and now we're looking at the, the slick, crafty McGrath. It comes out smelling like a rose when guys have trouble. Jeremy McGrath. Had some concerns about this bike before entering uh, the preliminary route. Did not get much practice time today, David. No, all day long at the Suzuki pits, they're having a firestorm going on there. The, the rain came through, that messed things up. The track was real dynamic, and Wyatt Seals, bless his heart, he worked all day long, but looks like he's got everything working perfectly now. Jeremy McGrath out in front as we take a look back in the field now at Ryan Huffman, number 47, who's in fifth position. The top four, remember, only the top four make it to the main event. And right now, that looks like Jeremy McGrath, Ryan Hughes, number nine, Brian Swank, and Mike LaRocco. Here's the battle for the bubble spot as Bradshaw trying to move up. Yeah, we saw Damon last week in Houston put in one of the best rides he's had in a while. You know, at least for the first half of the moto, I know that he really wants to get things back on track, but he's having all kinds of problems. Ryan Huffman this year has got some great starts. But the results in the main event have been around the 11th, 12th, 16th, 15th, 18th positions as Bradshaw makes the pass. Well, he makes the pass, but he's still got another guy to get around before he's in the main event. Out in front, Jeremy McGrath. Which four riders now will avoid the semifinals? We'll find out when we return to the Citrus Bowl. The ride you've been waiting for and the financing to get it. Jeremy McGrath is our leader here in the opening qualifying heat at the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida. Pretty amazing for a guy that didn't even get to do any practice the second session. Everyone was out there. He was just standing at the starting line in his gear watching, learning everything he could. And now he's leading the race, having everything in his way. Looks over his shoulder, sees his friend Ryan Hughes. And I don't think he feels too threatened as long as he keeps uh, the pace he's had. Larocco closing in on Swink as we take a look at our leader, Jeremy McGrath. Boy, oh, McGrath really wants a win here tonight. Yeah, of course he does, but imagine how much this guy right here, Ryan Hughes, does. Coming back like he is, he's got to salvage a season with a win or two because the title's completely out of the question. Hughes coming back after missing four races for that knee injury and to add insult to injury, the chicken pox, as uh, David mentioned. The black, black cloud just seemed to follow this guy around this year, Davey. Yeah, Ryan is he's thought to be like the hardest working guy out there, but if it wasn't for bad luck, he'd have nothing. He had food poisoning, David, one time, mechanical the next time. Injuries, sickness, this guy's battled through them all. He's a lot like LaRocco in terms of setbacks and injuries, and both those guys are tough. They're able to work through it. He even had a rock lodged in the front brake uh, during one race, and he had to slow down. We're looking at Brian Swank, number 13, and that's LaRocco right behind him. 
Morocco unable to do anything with Swank. He's, he's closed a little bit of time, but then Swank opens it back up here and there. Swank's got a lot of confidence coming off the, uh, the race last week. His best finish. He got a sixth in Houston, and you saw him after the races, and he was smiling, feeling like he's starting to get back on track. Well, he can really grip the handlebars for the first time, really, in the season after that uh, hand surgery on both hands prior to opening the year. Yeah, and as you mentioned earlier, he's done well here before. He lives just about an hour and a half up the road in Ocala, so he's got a little contingent pulling for him in the stands, too. Our leader in our first opening qualifying heat, Jeremy McGrath. Watch this whoop section. He's keeping it flat across the top. Then towards the end, about the last five or six of those, get a lot deeper, and that's where guys start to have trouble. But Jeremy's keeping it flat all the way through. McGrath side wheels it a little bit right there as he comes toward the finish line jump. That actually worked to his favor because there's a rut there that he crossed yep. over, and he's able to square that corner. You can see the effects of the rain in some of the sections. It's a little soupy, but that'll get all pushed off to the side. It'll be really nice and rough for the main event. Yeah, it's a real dynamic track with all the rain we had here this afternoon in Orlando. You're going to see guys messing up a lot, a lot more than normal. This McGrath is... with seven podiums in the previous nine races. He leads in that category this year with the number of podiums, having one more than uh, Emmick. This is the most interesting section of the racetrack. This loop section has a big hill in the middle, so you're, you're working your way up and then back down, and it's tough to keep your timing all the way through. And you can see the battle of Swink and LaRocco pulled right up to the rear fender of Hughes now. Hughes in second place. That's where the battle is as McGrath is way out in front. We see Swink make a charge at Rhino right here. He's got to get it going because he's got LaRocco breathing right down his neck. Inside move for Swink. Can't quite pull it off. Either way you slice it, it looks like these four guys, or these three in addition to Jeremy out in the front, are going to go to the main event as long as they don't knock each other down. It must be a good feeling for Kawasaki to finally get more than one rider in the 250s with all the injuries they've suffered this year. Well, Emick's done a great oh, job yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of uh, keeping them on track with four wins, leading the series, and his best season yet. And maybe Ryan can get in there and steal some points away from Jeremy McGrath in his main events for the remainder of the season, make it a little easier for him to close it out. Less than two laps to go. There's our field summary, McGrath, Hughes, Swank, and LaRocca right now in position to move into the main event should it end this way. Bradshaw, though, is on the bubble but has a long way to go. He's going to be joined by Buddy Anton as the Arena Cross champion, Ryan Huffman, in that semi. And plus, as with Lusk, of course. Here comes Swink again. White flag inside. coming up pretty soon. Those guys get close in the air. Watch Hughes to the whoops. He got a better run. Oh, gutsy move by Hughes. He's got the angle on him. Ryan Hughes. Well, he answered that nice. Swink did a good job to get in there and position himself to the inside, but Hughes thought about it in the air, I believe, and squared it off, got a straight run at the whoops, got him right back. Maybe that's the only place that Swink can get him. A very credible ride, though, by Brian Swink. Now, he's definitely turned it up, feeling better, and, you know, if you don't feel good, in mean, this sport, if you got any physical problems, it's just so tough to go out there to the starting gate, have any kind of confidence and battle with these guys with the pace. And there's McGrath. Talk about confidence. Now, this is a perfect track if you want showtime. Now he's coming up to the next triple here. Look at when he jumps into that burn. His timing looks great. Everybody's standing up in this area now, anticipating a knack-knack, but he's got a rider underneath him, and uh, he doesn't want to take any chances. Yeah, little bet, acknowledgement to the crowd. I bet that lap rider's not very popular with the infield section down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Jeremy working his way to the finish. You can see some of the water still standing on the track. That's where he's got a little sideways before. Jeremy McGrath, the checkered flag here in our opening qualifying heat from Orlando, Florida. Here comes the battle for second place. Look at Bradshaw. Bradshaw jumping over Larocco. He might make it. No, Larocco just edges him out for the final spot for the transfer to the main event. Oh, we'll get the official results coming up a little bit later. Our points leader, Jeff Emming, and others coming up next in heat number two.